My name is Glenda. I work as a nurse practitioner in the Foreign Service. I met my husband and he had an interest in moving overseas and I always kind of wanted to move overseas, work overseas anyway. He was working for various non-government organizations and I went along and I picked up a variety of different works. I'd never heard about the Foreign Service. So I thought, ah, this sounds like a job we would like to do. My husband can stay overseas. I can continue to work, actually get paid, stay certified as a nurse practitioner. We lived in Uganda. We're a family that camps a lot. Um, and we did a lot of family trips. And I think it created a bond within our family that I'm not too sure would occur in the United States. I mean, because we just spent a lot of time together. Very fortunate that my girl, they're all girls, so very fortunate in the sense of that they really became connected, well connected with each other, supported each other, made fun of their parents, you know, helped each other out when they're like, why are we doing this kind of stuff? So I would have to say it would be the family experiences um, that have really, that is something that has just stayed long term with me and I had never wanted to stay overseas long term with my family, you know, because of the schooling, I was just concerned about good education for them, but each time we moved to another post we were able to find schools that were great for our kids and knowing that they were raised in an environment where there were 20 to 40, sometimes 50 different nationalities is a huge gift for them to just to be able to understand the world in a different perspective than I think if they were raised in the United States. I just think of how I really got to be a critical thinker, how I use my assessment skills, and so I just grew professionally at each place and learned things I would have never learned in the United States. I would just say, look at all your opportunities. There, moving overseas doesn't necessarily mean you're living in a tiny hut with no water, you know, not, you can't get a good bath, et cetera. Um, that you actually, most places have decent accommodations, housing situation, but that it would be an opportunity for you to really enhance your skills to grow professionally, um, as nurses moving on to be nurse practitioners or if they were PAs, that it is an incredible growth opportunity professionally.